Hey, this is Samara, signing on with some more of Death's Gambit Afterlife. Okay, so last time I got a little carried away where we ran around, checked some stuff out, fought the lost, or fought Bulwark, fought the lost Gaian, and we did quite a bit and we got a new scythe. I'm getting carried away with this because, like, I'm so, like, I'm trying to take this, like, I'm trying to pace myself with this, but at the same time, I'm so invested in, like, the old stuff and the new stuff, I'm just <laughs> going through it at a pretty good place. Pace, sorry. Anyways, so, yeah, we got a new scythe, we are going to progress. It's been a couple of hours, I had to run to work, but I got back and then there was a patch, or an update for the game, so I'm not sure if it was like a, bu a bug fixing patch or something, but, you know, only in like the span of four hours there was like an update of some kind, so good to know. <clears throat> Anyways, we're gonna move on. So we took out Bulwark, the next place we're gonna go, I think we can backtrack a little bit more to look for stuff, but we're gonna go past where Bulwark was, and head into Aldwin and start checking out. Oh right, there was like a guy in Leaf or something, we can't pick it up. And yeah, we could fight Bulwark again, or learn abilities, huh. We don't need either of these, but let's just learn the abilities anyways. Okay. Sorry, I'm making noises. <clears throat> Aldwin. We're now into at least the outskirts of the city itself. Level up, let's increase that. Alright. So, carrying on. A little legion of the frog little frog boys. We must find out who is responsible for getting for killing Hoopaloo. Hey, my lord, isn't that the killer? On guard, soldiers, attack with vengeance in your hearts. Can we work with something? So work something out. I feel like there's there's got to be like a thing where if you don't kill any of the frogs or any of the lumberkin, it like unlocks like a secret dialogue path or something. I feel really bad for doing it, but it's just like, why not? <laughs> oh, and upgrade! I upgraded this scythe to level three, the reaping re scythe of reaping, and it's about as strong as the other one. So, eh. <laughs> nothing too crazy, but it's powerful. I remember this. We got a sniper sniping at us. Oop. Get into a building. Oh, sweet. Hey, Stora. Ooh, another. Hold on. Extends the dare dash distance. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's equip that. Got a carrot. We got a Soren over here. Your life has been wasted. It's already too late to turn back. Okay. Thanks, guy. I really appreciate everything you offer me. Ah, oh, damn it. I was way too cocky with that guy. Let's try this again. Perhaps I was mistaken. Ah, God, freaking little. Moving on. I'm gonna ignore that. Don't throw me away, death. I can do better. I swear. I suppose that guy's gonna keep following me. Oh, it worked. Oh, I completely forgot. I completely forgot I messed around with my skills.
There we go. Steel Great Hammer. Not gonna use it, but we have it. Crushing Tide. Oh. I don't know why I decided to do that. Whoop! Okay, get out of harm's way. Plume. Whoop! I don't know how I dodged that, <laughs> honestly. Ability gained. Fortitude, create a magical barrier that reduces damage taken by 50% for 10 seconds. Okay, cool. Alduin Haralbaird. Minor shortcut. Okay, I remember getting through Alduin was a little bit um, confusing, but we'll see. Ah, I don't remember that statue in the base game. <laughs> What of it? Go reclaim your phoenix plumes at my idol if you've lost them. I appreciate you care, but you dodge at the right time. It's just embarrassing to watch, really. I dodged those just fine, so shut up. Crow for the ah da. How how did I mess that up? Origa. Okay, new tome. We're gonna die. <laughs> I don't want to just be fighting them, but I'm just like, ah. I can't deal with that right now. I mean, I could, I just don't want to. Ooh, there's Fink again. He's dead. Well, there was another... <laughs> There was that merchant again. Again, sorry, Fink. I kept killing him in the beta, and I did earlier. And then he was back, and now he's dead again. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Heal up. Again, that's what's nice. That statue. Death Acoly Death's Acolyte. It's great. Or Acolyte of Death. It'll take more than your obnoxious grit to get through. That's yeah, better than yours, so shut up. Are you forgetting I'm immortal? Yes, yes, you're immortal. Without the fear of death, you will never reach your full potential. Well, I'm the one to be bulwark, so. Death is merely an inconvenience for you, not a limitation. We train, we fight to push our limits. But what are yours when you have nothing to lose? Pray they don't capture you. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, I just wanted to see that mine go off. Okay, so yeah, now we got mines. I remember these things being really hard, but then again, I'm stacked pretty well so far, so maybe we're good. Radiant Plume. Oh. I saw something. Okay, it's not that much extra healing. We'll just keep what we have. At least the defense boost is something. Yeah, there's an item up there. Nope. I was kind of hoping we get the little extra heights in order to get up there. Okay, maybe we had to do something else. Oop. There goes the bear trap. Guy in blood. You cannot hold any more of that item. What does it even do? I haven't checked. Gives 25 soul energy when consumed. Okay, well, you don't really need that. There we go. Origa. We got the other tome. That was quick, actually. Origa. Gade Tomb is a place beyond fantasy, where humans um, challenged what is meant to be human. Yeah, yet in the shadow of their ambitions, a zeal for purity grew. Ariga fell victim to the growing divide, betrayed by her parents as they let her wallow in sickness. Easily cured, without adaptation, pur purity is fragile. Er, without adaptation, sorry. Hmm. So, okay, that explains a lot for that character, but we'll get to that. Ooh, another one of these phoenix chests. I'm just getting lucky I haven't spent a plume yet. Bow of the Damned. Sounds promising. Yeah, I'm not gonna check. I like my daggers. Come on, me horse. Aha! Did a lot of damage, actually. Okay. Hold on. 
So if we go down here, it should lead us to the underpass. Alduin Cape. I feel like I have something better than that right now. We don't really need the strength boost, but then again... Okay. Yeah, Alduin Sewers, back down here. Blockade. I'm guessing there's gonna be like a lever nearby. Okay. There we go. So yeah, we were through here a bit ago. And there's the death guy. We don't need anything from him. You don't even need the horse right now. <clears throat> okay, we're making good progress, actually. So... Let's go back up. Pick up the snail. Don't know why. We're just gonna do it. Oh, sorry. Neck. Aldwin. I thought I I thought that killed him. Nice. Whoops. There we go. Church basement key. Oh, sweet. Okay. Sorry, I feel like I'm making this look easy, but it's just sort of like I've you know, played the original version so many times, and also, even this new version, I'm just like, I get the idea of what what works, but, okay. There we go. There we go. Lucky us. Okay, yeah, so Church Basement Key, you find that, you get that. Or, you know, you get a death statue right there. Perfect. Hey! This church was a monument to him. Once. You look very sci-fi, considering, you know, we're in a fantasy world. The bulwark shows in a pantry. People clamored in adoration. Can't see why he was a punk. <laughs> no. Self-proclaimed gods, usurpers who touted him like a trophy, inspiring entire generations into fervent devotion. In return, they promised immortality. An alluring proposition. Sorry, I'm just checking something real quick. Cause, or yeah, Origa. Ivane Friedman? I'm trying to remember. Ivan? Yeah, E V A N N or E V A N N E V A N N E. I'm trying to. Sorry, I'm looking up the cast. Everyone does a good job, and I just like, what else did they do? The fools and the ghosts of Aldwin. I watched as the bulwark's mind and body slowly decayed until all that remained was his reaching soul. But he never lost his sense of purpose, despite any who prayed here, having long since perished. And now you, who have silenced his thunder, this storm that once heralded judgment, now who shall be whether one is worth becoming mortal or not? Uh. Perhaps I shall take upon his mantle. There she goes. Okay, yeah. Bulwark corrupted, but he was a judge of some kind, but now he's gone. So, or, yeah, okay. So if you find the basement key, you get a statue, but if you're a cheap like me, <laughs> scrap useless items, I should do that. If you're a cheap like me, you know, you figure it out quick enough. So yeah, again, this is what's great about the Accolade of Death, is that you can fix those statues and, like, you get closer, um, you know, checkpoints if you're the Accolade of Death. It's... Ease up! Why Oop. have you come to disturb the dead? You're the one who's shooting tombstones. Yeah, so we got Origa. I remember this being one of the cooler fights 
in the game. Yeah, so she's got, uh, you know, again, she's very sci-fi compared to everything else we've seen so far. And, whoops. And she's tough. I was wondering if I could block her. Ah. Shield break. Okay. Either I can't... Okay, that and statue. Yeah, so when she goes in sniping position, we can take cover. I feel like those statues weren't as powerful before. Out of bullets! <laughs> as she jets around. This is one of the cooler fights, and also, like, the music is so, like, subdued compared to, like, everything else. You know, she is just, like, a different entity compared to everything else we've seen and fought before. Ah! I was hoping I could get that healing off before she... Tripping up with her st our stupid bear trap. Uh oh, yeah, she'll change positions if we get too far out of the way. For some reason I thought she was gonna fire again, even though she was out of bullets. And yeah, the flashes to tell her tell you where she is. Again, she's a good boss fight. Oop. You know, see me a lot tougher. What happened? Oh. Oh God, Jesus. No. Ah, that was way too short. Okay, again, I know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm making this... I feel like I'm doing this game a disservice by... Okay. Oop, overshot. Alright, she does that extra swing. Feels good to get this right. Oh god. I say as I'm approaching death. Come on. There we go. I'm really surprised. She usually takes me a couple of tries on replay, so I'm surprised I got her on the first shot. At least what happened in the original version, if you die to her, you get locked in that um church. Um you know, you get locked in the church. And then, so you have to kill yourself in order to respawn to the statue, but, yeah. At least it's what happened in the original game. But we've got her. Why have you come to disturb the dead? I didn't mean to. I'm looking for my mother. She was among the... This place and honor her memory. She kind of looks like a white-haired version of white -haired version of her, but it's not. Whether you find her or not... No one is truly alive here. This grave. Empty. Save for the memory of my parents. Empty. Don't worry. Time and their arrogance may certain a threat, but their consciousness endures. How is that possible? A story for another time, perhaps. Follow me. At least we won her over, and I like the cutscene where you just, like, you see how much battle damage is done. I feel bad for her. Within its walls is the dreaded source of immortality. Look upon the citadel and consider your next move carefully. Do the best I can. Bye. Okay, yeah, we don't kill her. She takes off. I think she goes back to the church. Yeah, no, Origa is, like, an interesting character. We don't see much of her, or at least we did in the original, so maybe 
kind of wish, hopefully we see more of her, but I don't know. Okay, we'll take a quick rest. Uh, we won't spend anything yet, just in case. Yeah, I'm not sure... if we see much of her again. Okay, but yeah, we're making good progress. Sorry, I feel like I'm making this look easy. It does take some time. It's just... That's the thing when you're playing, like, a Souls-like game for the, you know... You know, through multiple times. Hey, Riga. Talk. Come to chat. Yeah, why not? You seem cool. Wanna hang out? <laughs> what are you doing later? What else can you tell me about God Day 2? Your language lacks the vocabulary to describe it. Oh, thanks. Was it beautiful? Once, it existed centuries before the rise of Elgrin, and ultimately suffered a similar fate. But that is for you to witness and hate. Are you the last of your people? In a manner of speaking, my people live as memories violated by the specter of our past. I was spared. For or for worse. <laughs> I like the delivery. There was just like a long S sound as she's just like, eh, it's complicated. And we can challenge her again, but we'll leave her be. Because I will not win if we fight her again. <laughs> so, yeah, or you go. And I'm trying to remember, like, the lore reasons for why she's all cybered up, but we'll get there. Karasorai, the Immortal Citadel. So yeah, we're making progress. It feels like I'm going through this fast. Are being hunted. If any return to their homelands, it'll only be a handful. Okay. So yeah, Soul of the Phoenix is back apparently. Another expedition marked by tragedy, remembered only by the mothers whose sons and daughters have fallen. The king will continue to celebrate the dead as heroes of the realm. Their heroes accomplished little more than setting foot into Cyrodiil. How the standard has fallen. Their cadavers will be of more use as fertilizer. They don't know any better. A child is not to blame for the environment in which they are raised. King Vowles must die. He's not far off. Give it 10, 20 years, he'll be a wretched pile of shivering bones by then. He looks like that now. No. Too many will suffer for his ambitions. Sorrow resonates through the kingdoms, like a feud in the air, a fermenting thirst for revenge. But I will assuage their pain. No longer will a mother suffer the loss of a child. When all are immortal under the sun, I will be queen. Hell of a bitch. So yeah, they had a conversation. I felt like that happened later, actually. Hey, Veral and Ione! It's complicated. Just know that if you attempt to take the source, I will cut you down without hesitation. Try it, punk. Viltra Dua tears itself apart, marinating in the knowledge that immortality is a stone's throw away. The ambitious who dare venture into Surden are assassinated, leaving behind pockets of influence. You're still alive? Not without sacrifice. Tribes that wane are executed or assimilated. But as warlords rise, the ire of the remaining rally to crush them. All right. So, the cycle continues. The rampant death of our own kind, unprecedented. And destroying the source will see the, that slaughter end. Perhaps. If Cyrodiil falls, the Vildredor's focus might turn away from themselves. And towards new lands. Fair enough. That could spark another great war. Don't fool yourself into thinking Cyrodiil is a neutral kingdom. They will push out when the time is right. And who could possibly stop them if I don't end it here and now? 
What happens after is not my concern. Okay, fair enough. Viltra do a tad ambitious. Not okay, he's just saying the same thing again. Just checking. Don't fail what happened. Ione, how you doing? In truth, I never expected you to make it this far. What do you think of me now? I suppose an introduction is well overdue. I am Ione Echo. Beyond the chasm. They keep saying Ione, but whatever. All who seek immortality must pass through its crumbling gates. It was almost my new home. Before you showed up. And got me evicted, as it were. We shouldn't tarry too long. I want to talk to you again. We spent more time. You spent more time with Endless than anyone else. Who is she? She never spoke much about her past with me, but the way she talks about the expeditions, I think she may have lost a great deal during one of them. You think she was a uh, draftee? It seems likely, though she may very well be a native of Sildon. They are few and rare, but something about her is. Different. I've seen her subjected to all manner of death only to brush it off. She's invincible. Let's test that theory. Hmm. Okay, no dialogue, no audio from death, that's weird. Hmm. Hmm, sounds like her soul has been extracted. But if that were the case, her mind would deteriorate and leave her utterly blank. Can't do my Matt, Matt Mercer impression. You sp okay. Just checking. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Maybe that's a glitch. Okay. Anyways. Didn't mean to go back that direction. So, yeah. Oh, hey. The sewers lead back to Sanctuary. And ahead towards Kirishiorai. Thanks. What is it? Death needn't be so loved. For you will be reunited with the loved ones you lost. But my soul has perished long ago, and I have not the dust to commune with my family. My choice to die was taken from me. Venture no further, where you still have that choice. Oh boy, your voice changed quite a bit. That choice may have been taken from my mother as well. If you won't heed my words. Forbidden key. Interesting. What does this open? Once my home, now a derelict tomb. All the way back. There. May the remnants of my world convince you otherwise. Yeah, I'm starting to get theories about what her deal is. Because, yeah, lots of interesting stuff with Origa, and I just don't know the specifics. What are you guys doing? Huh? You want, you want to go left? We'll be done in a jiff. Why don't you swing by Froopies to the east in the meantime? Oh, and there's a tourist trap. Tourist trap. I mean, a legendary door past Froopies that should keep keep you busy until we finish here. Okay. If that leads... Okay, for some reason. If that leads where I think it does. Oop. Okay, I can't go up there. So yeah, Origa giving us hints about her. And we'll get to that. Good food. Are you sure? The restaurant represents the finest in Lumberkin cuisine. Sir Froginton the Third. What a weird place. Fruppies. The menu is barely legible. Fair enough. This is also new. I thought... What is going on? Wow, another customer. Welcome to Fruppies. It's been generations since our last. Legends say he was so dreamy, carrying around his big ol' axe. Don't tell anyone, but I keep a picture of him under my bed. Uh... You shouldn't tell anyone that. Uh, I just want to be crushed under his weight, you know what I mean? No, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I do. I'm just not into it myself. Oh, hey, Death. <laughs> what in the seven hells are you doing in my kitchen, boy? Can't you see I'm in the middle of perfecting my mac and cheese and crab cra crave crab recipe? Pasta la vista, buco! Bucco, sorry. Pasta la vista. I see what he's doing. And yeah, death just hanging out. Funny, I wonder if we're going to see something like this again. How's it going, Sora? Uh, fine, I guess. So you decided... I thought you said you couldn't interact with our realm. <laughs> 
I can do what I want. I'm goddamn death. You're clearly holding a ladle. What's the apron for? Hey, Crow, you've got no time for idle chatter. You got time to flip a burner? Get a move on! Yes, Chef. Go bother someone else before I get fired. Such a weird. They kind of play with this idea another way, at least in the first game. This isn't this whole restaurant's new, but they had like another scene you could see. And same situation, it's just like, I'm cooking breakfast. What does it look like I'm doing? I wanna see, you decide to get a job? You're clearly holding a ladle. You don't enter a battlefield with <laughs> okay, same dialogue. Sorry, this is funny. <laughs> and again, Matt Mercer doing a great delivery as Death. And I just like the idea, like, Death is trying to, you know, waiting for you to get your job done. So he's just, like, hanging around doing stuff. So he's just, like, messing around with the Lumberkin just so it ha gives him something to do. And he's totally into it. Yes. Like, he's so in character here. What if I kill his boss? No, let's not. Let's not be mean to the Lumberkin. G good job, guys. Keep it up. What the heck? Hey, stop distracting us. We're trying to uh, reach rare item. I can't reach up that high. Maybe in due time. Tall legs. Whenever, whatever have sleep time dreams? Dreams where it feels like tall legs can't move? And then tall legs see that it's a scary monster smiling at you with a big skull and no eyes, but so many mouths and arms? And I... Yeah, ZZ need to stay awake. I think I know what he's referring to, even. Like, I think that'll actually come up later. Who are you, little guy? Oh, hello, you must be death. Manu never seen someone so devoid of life. I don't know how to take that, actually. <laughs> Not like Manu's boy. Have you seen him anywhere? Tom is supposed to be home for dinner by now. Oh, crap. Usually riding pet frog and playing ven 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 venerable night. He can never, he can never, er, he can never say it, though. Thomas always makes Manu day brighter. Such a force of positive energy, you know? Just so alive. Like, really, really alive. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> And I wonder if that's different if you don't kill him, if you can avoid it, or if you let Thomas kill you. Hey man, I'm about to drop the illest mixtape. Wanna give it a listen? Oh my god. He's got a gold chain and a beanie. Sure. Nobody ever listens to- Wait, what did you just say? Wow, you're the first person to ever say yes. Here, give me a second. He's locking us in so we can hear his mixtape. It's only 37 minutes, but I wrote it in 20. Oh, God. My friend from per <laughs> Perkley helped me produce it. It's like lo-fi hip-hop meets free jazz. How do you know what those things are? <laughs> oh. Play lo-fink Cyrodon Drapper post-indie double-cross crust stop. I wrote most of these on a notepad in one night. Yep, checks out. My buddy helped me produce it. He want, went to Perkley. The guitar tone is all axe effects, because I use a knife as a pick. It's kind of like explosions in the sky, but heavier, you know? I make my own uh, Omnisphere presence. Presets, sorry. Have you seen my Joy Subdivision shirt? It's actually a felt piano. It's a secret trick of mine. Sorry, I want to listen to music, but I also want to... It sounds better on vinyl. Shut up. <laughs> I realize there's perks to it, but it's not as convenient. Key signatures are too restricting, man. <laughs> Apple started in a garage, you know. Well, yeah, but he also had the backing of so much. Okay, more people need to listen to the Smiths. It's Rector. It's Rector. You know who else used Rector? Trent Res... Res... Bleh. I have a lot of drive. John Lemon didn't know music theory. <laughs> I think I only drink cold brew. Uh, of course you would. The secret sauce is OTT. I don't know what that means. 
Thanks, man. You know that people will stick around for a little... Or to know that people will stick around for a little of me? You really inspired me to keep going. Here, I was going to share this with anyone, but I've actually got some experimental beats I've been working on. Oh, boy. Well, I'm glad we made him happy. This actually sounds really cool. That's actually really nice. It kind of sounds like a, um, like a one of the songs from Fortnite. I like the Drapper. That's uh, that sounds good. Okay, so yeah, just <laughs> them putting in like weird music facts and riffs. So okay. Oi, sir, could you spare me a wee soul stone for a hungry lumberkin? I've had nothing to eat for the past few days. See. Don't you only live for 24 hours? I could give him one. Can we drop one? How does this work? There. I don't think it's working. Okay, how about... Oh, don't you be giving me brovna any soul stones, I He's addicted to upgrading useless shite. He'll go running around upgrading random frocks he finds. Bloody hopeless he is. We thinks he feed him some owls, a mountain of soul stones, and turned into a hulking beast. Hmm. That explains a lot. <laughs> Damn near killed all of us. That's why we left Ryder's Passage. All open, he's... Uh, all open, never left to sit... Or, all open's been left to Sir Thomas now. Anyway, do you give him any... Don't you... You didn't give him any stones, did you? No. Does that mean Thomas actually killed one of the owls? Is that why it was like strung up in that room? He actually was able to kill one of the owls and we just got rid of the other one? <laughs> I love this game. Have you seen the big door on the right? People say the rain inscription is part of a legend. Or part of legend. I can't read though. Good luck with that. Moving on. <laughs> okay, so a nice little scene of brevity because if what's going to happen is coming up next, we're in trouble. <laughs> Need three sigils of Kerasorai. It reads, one sigil entrusted to Amovaro, may his watchful eye above sanctuary keep us safe. Another, granted to the warden of the prison, may your conviction keep the sinners at bay. The last, guarded by Kusith, the untamable Gaian beast. Okay, now we're getting marks. Amovaro. Amovaro's all the way up there now? Oh, wait, no. Eldritch Council. Kusith. Wait. Oh, no, no. That adds up. Sorry, I'm looking at this and go like, what? No, this makes sense. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Okay, map completion, you know, third of the way there. So, yeah, we got a bunch of new objectives. We can go to where Origa told us to go, and we can now go find those three. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. Just wanted to let you know that we finished hammering that bridge. You can proceed to the western sewers. All right, thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Okay, I thought a certain thing was going to happen right now, but maybe it'll come up later. That's interesting. But, okay, we got our objectives. In order to get to Karasurai properly, we have to find, you know, the things to open the doors. So, we're, we're getting there. So, yeah, this game is doing a lot better, like, giving you direction on, like, where you're actually supposed to go and how to actually progress in the game. Before, it just was sort of like, you know, if something's open, you might as well just go around until you find a passageway. Now, it's proper direction. I feel so bad for these lumberkin. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Aha! That bear trap's actually super useful. I got... F I don't know if you heard the beep, but I got food about to come out of the oven. Hold on. Uh, ability gain. Time warp resets all ability cooldowns and heals most status ailments. Oh, cool. That looks like a giant cocoon in the background there. Hold on. Okay, I was going to say, can we fall? Hold on, I might step away for just a minute. I should stop here, but I want to keep going. Hold on a second. Got something out of the oven. It was cooking and it needs time to sit anyway, so we're good. Got a couple of minutes. 
No traps left. Damn it. Where's... We got a bow. We also got a skill point. I should do something about that. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I want the loot. There we go. Soul stone. Soul stone. Immortalite stone. Cool. Want my flaming daggers back. Yeah, so we got a lot of pathways to go now. Now we gotta figure out either how to go get, you know, get, basically go get the Lord's souls, technically. <laughs> you know, get the passageway to open up Karasurai and get the three, you know, crests. Or we can follow Auriga's direction, which we'll probably, I think, is gonna have to lead us to one or the other, maybe? However we get down there. All right, guy in blood, we don't need. Oh, don't have any traps left because I spent them all. Oh, carrot. Just gotta figure out what we need the carrots for. As many as we're finding, and there's more I bet we can... F so yeah, they've expanded this so much and I am so happy with all like the new areas we can travel to. Ooh, Ooh mean, but we did it. Throwing daggers, cannot hold any more priesthood. Alright. Whoop. Grizzly, but can't open from. Yeah, let's at least get back to the central sanctuary. We're on our way there. Shouldn't take too much longer. Nope. Pull lever. Pull the lever, horse. He's not doing it. <laughs> he knows it's the wrong lever. Okay, I'll shut up. So, almost there. Hey, boy. Just keep going through the passage until we end up. I think I checked out some of this stuff. Hey, guys. All right, they're still traveling, even though they were gone already. So yeah, go to the Central Sanctuary, and, hmm, yeah. Again, the actual pathway to success is all mixed up now. Oop. Veral? I found this missive on a corpse here. It carries the royal seal of Vados, but most of it has been scribbled over. I should have moved the horse out of the way. What does it say? Uh, I forgot about this. Was in the, I think this was in the main game. I completely missed it. I think I got this like on a, after or another playthrough. My last one. I think this was in the main game. Yeah, it was. I feel like we've been set up, man. It's just a ditch. I've been in worse situations. I should have known. I am so thankful. <laughs> this weird plonky. This is because I didn't buy any of your garbage. garbage. I accidentally killed you both times you appeared. Okay. Go ahead with your questions. Whether I die or not doesn't matter. Fair enough. Question one. No, we're in Alduin, right? I got it mixed up. What? The trap stopped? Of course it did. <laughs> Here. 
will I kill Varal if I do this wrong? Oh, never mind. Well, okay. <laughs> I was so worried. So, okay, yeah, Siridin. Sorry, I got... Or now, technically, we're in Alduin. <laughs> Oh god, what the hell is that? Okay. We're cool. I went to go pet the rabbit. I think I... I don't know what happened there. Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, so that was a whole weird thing with Fink. I remember... I now remember that happening, but I, I think I got the question right. It's been a while. Okay, well... Varal's okay, so that's good. Okay. Yeah, I forgot. We need to break this, and this should lead us down to one of the main paths we need to go. And that originally was just, like, completely open, but I suppose how they have to separate things out now, that's why you needed the, um, the crash down in order to open up the path now. So, interesting. You know, they're giving you better direction on, like, how to actually progress and what you need to do to advance the story. And, you know, we have our paths. Uh, wait, if we go up here... No, right, that's different now. Okay, he's saying the same thing again. Right, forgot about this. Or I didn't think this was gonna happen already. She went up in flames. Professing to be reborn from ash, dust to the wind now. <laughs> you seem pretty cash about that. Yeah, I thought this was gonna happen later, but you know, her death seems suspicious, and Bast seems interested in that. I'll look into something. Okay, so maybe this is a good point to wrap up at. So, okay, we got a lot to do. We can go check out down there to, I think we'll have to, yeah, I think that path we opened up is where we can head next to the Darkness Falls, or we can go up and around to find, Amalvaro is there, if we can follow the path and find Kusith, which, oh, I bet, no, wait, that was blocked off, okay, yeah, thing is, we're gonna have to look around and find some paths, but, you know, do some exploring, you know, Metrovania, do some exploring to find our path. So, I think we'll wrap up here for right now. Next time we continue, we will carry on, and we will figure out our next course of action. Maybe we'll head down to the dark, maybe we'll head to, well, let's see. Probably that would be the best option, but then again, based on the scaling, we'll find out. We'll figure it out next time. So, until next time, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamara, signing off.